Hi, I'm AJ, you're watching Lib Lab, and it has been a hot summer. So, I thought it might be fun to uh, take a look at a chilly winter question to help everybody cool off. Like, uh, how is it that fish can survive when a lake freezes? Let's find out. Many of us have seen frozen lakes, and a few of us might even have gone ice fishing, where you drill through the ice to catch fish swimming beneath it. But how do those fish survive the cold? You might have heard that heat rises, and that's true. When you heat a material, solid, liquid, or gas, you're adding energy to the molecules in that material, weakening the bonds that hold it together, and allowing it to expand. When that material expands, its density decreases. Archimedes' principle tells us that the buoyant force acting on an object is equal to the weight of the liquid or gas that it displaces. So if the the density of the fluid around any material is greater than the density of that material itself, then the fluid being displaced will weigh more and the material will float. This is why hot air balloons can fly. But water is kind of weird. Like most fluids, its density decreases as it gets colder, but only to a point. At atmospheric pressure, water is most dense at about 4 degrees Celsius, where the freezing point of water is 0 degrees Celsius. This means that as a lake cools from cold air blowing over the top of it, first, the cold water on the top will sink down until the whole lake reaches that four degree temperature point. At this point, the entire lake will have the same density and become stably buoyant, meaning density changes will no longer cause the water to rise or fall. Finally, as the surface of the water continues to cool and freezes, its density will decrease below that maximum density at four degrees Celsius. The ice that forms over the top will then act as an insulator, slowing the freezing process and preventing more ice from forming. The end result is a sheet of ice over the top of a lake protecting a warm pool of four degree water, providing the perfect home for our happy little fishy friends. Hi, I'm AJ, host of Lib Lab, and if you liked this episode and want to see more awesome science demos like this one, do us a favor and click that like button and subscribe to Lib Lab on YouTube so you never miss an episode. Thanks for watching.